So hi everybody, welcome back to my Crafty Den. It's Debbie here and today is Make It Monday. And um, I shop thrift stores. And when I'm in thrift stores, one of the things that I look at every time that I'm there is um, glass pieces. And if it's striking and under $5, I usually pick it up. And I'll show you why. So um, these pieces here, that I picked up. I have this great big fluted vase. And the reason that I bought this piece was because when you turn this over, it has a massive base, which makes for a really solid piece that's not going to fall over. And I bought all these three pieces at separate places and at separate times. So I've got this giant blue glass vase simply because I like the elegant curve on it I love this cobalt blue color and I think it's amazing just amazing piece now there is well that's not even a chip that's just a little something stuck to it and I'll show you how I prep the pieces and this piece this is a low shallow ball it Look at the inside of this. Look at the colors. It's got a mirror-like surface on the inside, and it's got this, this. Um, it's got, yeah, if you hear the lawnmower, my husband's outside cutting the grass, so. And the outside of this is a deep, deep purple with these ribs that go like this. Just, you can hear it. So the way that I'm gonna prep these pieces is I am just going to take some rubbing alcohol. Like these have been washed, but they've been sitting for a while. So I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna put it on this cloth and get it nice and wet. And then I am going to wipe these all down. And it'll clean any soap that's on them. It'll clean anything that's greasy. It'll take the last little bit of the dust off. And um, like I'm washing them all down, but what you have to really concentrate on are the surfaces that you're gonna glue. That's what you really have to concentrate on. And the other thing that you have to be really careful about is make sure that these are dry. When you glue them together, they have to be dry. So I've got a clean towel here and I'm going to wipe this down and then I just wanted to show you like isn't that gorgeous on the inside and that inside of this bowl is going to be the focal point so I'm turning this over and I'm taking the cloth with the rubbing alcohol on it and I'm particularly going to pay attention to this piece this piece and both ends of this piece so don't put that jar or that cloth with the um, alcohol on it too far away. And I'm going to dry these pieces really good because the last thing that you want is any moisture in these pockets where these are going to get glued together. And this is a really easy project. Like anybody can do this. Now what I'm going to do with this is... Yeah. There's a little bit of a rim on this either way, no matter how I glue this, but I think, I actually think I want this surface to adhere to this one. So what I have is this, it's called industrial glue. Now I've made these with E6000 and I've left an art piece out in my garden all winter. I made it this time last year, left it out in my garden all year and or and like I left it out there for the winter because I specifically wanted to see. I made it, I made it for myself. It wasn't costly. It's gorgeous, but it wasn't costly and I thought it, I needed to know if it would stand up and it did. I can still pick up. It's a great big tall garden piece like a um, Oh my goodness, I can't even remember what the name of them are. You know, the big towers of different pieces. I, it's terrible. My, my mind's gone completely blank. 
that's awful. But so anyway, um, and it did, but I have this industrial glue and I want to see how it works because one of the things that it says is that it's a sealant and an adhesive as well and that it stays flexible. And that's, and it's UV resistant, so it's good for outside. And that's one of the things that I wanted to see. So I'm going to try it with this. This one's, this piece is for me. So um, I would use E6000 on any piece that I was making for somebody else. They just, they're out at the local store where I get it. And they aren't going to get it back in until they, they get a shipment in a week. So I'm using my pliers to get there. It wasn't that hard. I just couldn't get it with my fingers. And I'm going to take this off and I am going to apply this glue to the rim of this pot right here. B because I know this is smaller than this or I'd be able to put it on here but I don't know exactly where this is going to sit. So yeah, so all I'm going to do is put a good bead. And by a good bead I mean I, I want to know that this is going to squish out a little bit. And this stuff stinks, and that's why I've got all my windows open. And I'd be outside, except the bugs are terrible already. They are absolutely terrible already. There. And I'm going to apply that lid back on there. And set that over there. And then I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put it down on here. I'm going to move it just a tad. Now that's not squishing out quite as nice as I'd like it to. I'm actually going to put a little more glue on this. Just a bit more. Because I do want this, I want this to be an amazing seal. What I don't want is any water when it rains to, to puddle on the edge of this lip and then run down inside. That's what you don't want. That's the only thing that you really have to worry about. And you can't have too much glue. I don't care if this takes two days to dry. And it probably won't today because it's supposed to be really hot. and I think sunny. It's sunny right now anyway. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on here. That's better. This is actually sealing down really good. There's a little bit come out all the way around, so I know it's got a really good seal. And I'm moving it just a tad. And then I'm going to take this. It's just a teeny tiny little... Because um, no matter how much you think this looks straight, it's not going to be. there. That's better. So you really want to use this to make sure this is straight. Because I want to use this for a bird bath on my deck. Oh, there's my dryer. I'm multitasking today. <laughs> um, so there. Now I'm going to leave this for a good 20 minutes and let this set up so that this doesn't move again when I put this piece on because this piece is quite heavy. So I'll come back and I'll do that. So this is, it's not dry, but it's tacky enough that this isn't wobbling back and forth, which is a good thing. And it's all dry on the inside and this part's dry and nice and clean. So what I'm going to do is take my glue and right on the top, this is a much smaller rim, so just make sure you get the glue on all the way when you've got a little small rim like this you want to have good adhesion everywhere and it doesn't take long for this glue to start running down the sides because it is a small little rim so i'm going to get it on here as fast as i can it's actually hard to squeeze out There, I have it everywhere. 
a little bit more right there. And I'm going to take this. Now you can't really put, and I'm going to put this right on top like this. And I'm going to try to make sure that I have it centered as much as I can. And it looks pretty good, actually. There. So I'm going to let this dry really good. I could let this dry a little bit longer, I think. But that's it. That's as good as it's going to get, I believe. So that's how you put them together. Just wanted to show you something. I, I've been waiting for this to dry. So here it is. And it's nice and it's well balanced, like the center, the bottom, and the center and the top have some nice weight to them, which is how I like them. And um, the word that I was looking for before when I was talking about glass garden art was totem. So I can keep my camera straighter. This looks really cockeyed. Um, so anyway, it it's the weight of the bowl of this bowl and the weight of this vase. And <laughs> like they're not um, the same all the way around. Sometimes they're heavier on one side than the other. The glass might be a little thicker on the base. Like it might be thicker here than here. Um, whatever and because these aren't completely flat surfaces surfaces things sometimes tend to want to slide like this when your glue is wet so what I did to resolve the issue was took my hot glue gun and I put a big gob of glue on all four sides I didn't put it all the way around I put it on four sides top and bottom and what will happen is when this glue hardens and dries and, and gets really good, the glue glue, then I can pop this back off the glass. Um, hot glue won't hold glass. It won't hold it for very long. It'll hold it to keep this from shifting because it's like a wall now. It can't push against it. Um, but yeah, that's just a tip for somebody that's trying to get it straight. And I will chip this off. I will... I will um, pick that off of there when it's done so that you can't see it. And one of the other things I've done to be able to hide this lip a little bit and so that water doesn't uh, pool up in here was I've gone around my pieces with silicone or uh, because the silicone sometimes looks gooey, I'll take gemstones or something like that and glue gemstones all around this lip and it'll give it a pop of sparkle and it will, see, but I do, I love these pieces. I love this seafoam green and this cobalt blue and the purple and the, it's almost black from the outside. Like when you look at it like this, it's almost black. But then when you go to the inside, look at, look at the gorgeousness of that color. It's going to look awesome with water in it. So I'll show you pics when I'm done. Um, I'll just post some at the end. So if you like this video and you want to see more things like this, um, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below and let me know what you think. And um, yeah, if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss anything. And YouTube will actually notify you when I post a new video if you hit that bell button. So thanks everybody. Have a great day. Bye bye for now and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so here it is. I've put it out into my garden. And just look how stinking cute that is. That is, there are hostas in this garden and, um, you know, violets and things like that. And it's just starting to come up. But when, when this garden fills out, these hostas are going to come up and just cover the green piece in the bottom. So this blue vase and the top part where the purple is, is just going to just come right out of all that greenery. And it'll look just gorgeous. There's my pump. I have an old antique hand pump there. And this one here needs to be cleaned, but that piece has been sitting in this garden for over a year. And I just wanted to show you, like these old 
chandelier crystals they've been glued on here look at there like they've been glued on there um with e6000 now i don't know if this one here will hold as well as the e6000 i'm hoping um, another alternative is to use an outdoor silicone adhesive um, ge makes a good one i've seen people use and um but this is just a little garden and i need to get out here and weed but every time i come out here and start that the bugs get really bad so this is just a little garden across the front of my deck and in it i have this little girl has been hanging around for about 10 years um, she gets covered like by the time the summer comes I might have to move her to the front of the garden a little bit closer but by the time summer's in full bloom and all these hostas grow she gets overwhelmed in hostas uh, this garden is in the shade a lot it gets a couple of hours of afternoon sun but let me see if I can show you here um, this is the end where my steps are and it just runs down the edge we have to get a new deck put on but this one's still hanging around for a while that's it um bye bye for now everybody i'll see you in the next video